Hey all, welcome back to another episode of The Garage. I am your host, Tom, AKA The Racing Joker. I don't know what that voice is. The Racing Joker. But here we are, it's still raining after so many episodes. It's just the eternal rain of my life. This is, this is, this is what my soul is like. This is, an, this is a glimpse into my soul and my mental health. Today we are talking about one of the craziest hypercars. We might even need a new class of car for this. The Mercedes AMG One. Some say it is the successor to the Mercedes CLK GTR, the street version. Um, this car is so so special. I, let's 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 pull it up. So I'm I'm like 80 to 90 percent a fan of the looks of this car. I just don't like the weird shark fin wing it has, but you can tell that it's functional. Um, so we'll excuse it. The Mercedes AMG One. For those of you that don't know, I am a fan of Mercedes, but mostly it's historical cars and crazy hypercars. So let, let, let's talk about this. Let's dive right into it and you'll understand why. This car is going to be powered by the 1.6 liter PU106C hybrid E-Turbo V6 Formula One engine. A Formula One engine, it is the V6, but who cares? I'm a big fan of engine swaps, even some of the most sacrilegious ones. But even before this car was being introduced, I've always wondered what it would take to get a low displacement, high revving engine, like something out of a Formula One car, in a road car. Like, I've, I've pictured putting in like a bike engine into like a Lotus Elise or something, or an Exige. Um, but this, this takes it to a whole nother level a Formula One engine. So, let's talk about this crazy car. <laughs> oh, hmm. This car is rear-wheel drive, so it can kill you, but I'm sure it's got a lot of stuff going on to keep it under control. It revs up to 11,000 RPM instead of 14,000 like in the F1 car. So, the Formula One engine has been detuned um, a fair bit so that it can be used in a street car because otherwise it wouldn't be possible. You can't just put a Formula One engine into a street car and expect it to work. A lot of stuff would go wrong and just there's so much that would be incompatible and you just wouldn't be able to drive it normally. And so the street car idles at 1200 RPM instead of 4000 like the F1 car. And this is something that's really cool, in my opinion. Electric motors are used to spin the turbo, and it cleverly reuses energy that is excess generated by the turbo. So this car is very efficient, very fast, and you can tell that they've spared no expense. They've spared no expense. And that this car will be outrageous. I mean, this is the sort of car that could earn Mercedes, a place in the top three craziest manufacturers in the world, but who would Mercedes replace? I'll let you decide in the comments. So, moving on, it has three Formula One electric motors going up to 50,000 RPM each, 160 horsepower each. It's got two on the front axle, improving torque vectoring, and one MGU-K motor on the crankshaft. It's got a combined power, and we've got a range here, of 1,043 to 1,231. No slouch. It's got a 16 mile EV mode range. I don't know why anyone 
would be deranged enough to drive this in EV mode. That, that is so much wasted potential and warrants that you should be shot by a marksman if you do it. So don't, I will come after you. It's got a single clutch, which is unexpected in my opinion, a single clutch eight speed transmission. And so I don't know if I'll ever even get to sit in one of these, let alone even look at it or drive it, but I wonder if that even matters, a single clutch transmission. It might feel violent or it might feel smooth. I mean, we're talking about Mercedes here. They, um, they can make some crazy stuff. 2.5 second, zero to 60. All right, listen to this. It takes six seconds to get from zero to 124 miles per hour. It takes 11 seconds to get from zero to 186 miles per hour. And it has a top speed of 217. That is fast. That is, that is face melting fast. And so, moving on, the estimated curb weight of the car, we've got another range here of 2,646 to 2,866 pounds. It's got active aero, unsurprising. It can produce more downforce than a GT3 race car. The wheels and pedals move rather than the seats. So the seats are fixed and just the, the wheels and the pedals move based on whether you're short or tall or normal. The car has a rear view camera, but it is mounted on the end of the roof fin spoiler thing rather than the rear bumper. And it is based on Lewis Hamilton's Formula One car, if you couldn't have figured that out already. But it will not be out until 2020. But old notes, we are in 2020 and I cannot wait to hear what this sounds like. A road car with a Formula One engine what does a Formula One engine sound like with a catalytic converter? You'd assume that a Formula One engine would just melt that. I mean, the exhaust is going to have to be made of Inconel or Mithril or Kryptonite. I don't know. Adamantium. It's, it's going to be insane. I'm, I am super excited about this car. Another fun fact that I recently found out that's not on the script is that the, the Mercedes badge on the hood, or whatever you want to call it, is spray painted on to save weight and not compromise even the smallest amount of aerodynamic quality, which is, that's the level of detail that goes into this car. And that's why this car could become the next king. King of everything, king of the track, king of the street. I wonder how, I wonder how many they're gonna make though. Probably not many. I, but if they make a bunch, if they make more than 20, that'd be cool. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of The Garage. Today we discussed the Mercedes AMG One. I think it's really cool. Let me know what you guys think of this car in the comments. And by the way, give me suggestions of what to cover in future episodes. Um, just like in Car Topics Explained, I take suggestions. And if I ever make a mistake or anything like that, uh, like let, let us know in the comments so that I can I can learn and everyone else can learn so that no misinformation is spread because that's not what I'm all about. I'm about spreading credible, correct information. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode, and I'll see you all next time. Take it easy and keep it crazy. Bye.